Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. We're Matt and Jenny, trail racing and traveling around the world. In this video, we took a trip to Phoenix, Arizona to crew our friend Catherine at the Black Canyons Ultra 100. And we decided to give van life a try while we were down there. So subscribe and join us on this journey as we run, race, and travel. What's happened since we last saw you? Oh geez, have you kept food down? We made it through the border. We're in America. Felt kind of weird going through the border. It felt illegal. I felt like they're, <laughs> at some point they were just gonna tell us to turn around or to go to jail or something weird. <laughs> Do not collect $200. Yeah. Do not pass go. But, uh, <laughs> but we got through and everything's fine. And we're getting on a flight and flying down to Phoenix. <laughs> We knew the van rental company was closing before we arrived, so we made arrangements with Catherine to pick up our van. Hey, good news. What's that? Catherine said the bus place or the yeah, place is just staying open for us. <laughs> so she must be a sweet talker because we oh. did not get that response. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. Hey, right. What's up? How you doing? I guess she stepped into summertime. My mask yeah. off. And oh. also, it's like quite cool in the morning. It's yeah. Great. I saw, actually I saw some of my athletes were running and I told Matt it was minus two and they were running Sedona. Really? Yeah. And I was like, uh, we better pack some pants. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be cold at the start line. Like, yeah. really cold. Yeah. Van time. Stoked to live this van life? Day one. Day one. Shout out to Matt. I just gave camp pants for sticking around. Yeah. Keeping us in the loop. Like you okay. see on with the windows down. I don't know why again. Being inside, living outside. It's like near the rocks were. I don't understand the difference. Oh my god, is that an outside nightclub? No way, that's your idea! The inside is the outside and the outside is the inside. So when you're standing in line, the party is outside. So you're, you're at the party while you're in line before you even get in. When you get in, it's outside like you're on the street. I just don't like this reference. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I've never been able to buy spring from a store because this doesn't happen in Canada. That'd be like five. A couple of watches. I also really like these. Because it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking about 2, 1, 33, 51, you're paying with car? Quick. $200. Whoa. Ah. We just bought $200 worth of spring energy. Tailwind and these. And now we're gonna go find food because it is time to eat. Food, campsite, beer time. No beer. Beer time. No fun. Beer time. Dinner time. Out here for the Black Canyons Ultra, and we're doing some trail running in the desert. Well, we woke up this morning and we were freezing in the van. Just dropped pretty low overnight. And the van just kind of kept the cold air in. So we decided, okay, we'll get out of the van, open the door, and it's like five, six degrees cooler outside the van than it is in the van. We are officially on the Black Canyons 100k course. Back to my story. <laughs> so it was freezing cold, got out of the van, and we were like pretty surprised at how much warmer it was outside the van. Now we're out on the course, and you just feel it cooking. It's gonna be a hot day out here, and it feels so good to be in shorts and a t-shirt in February. This is insane. I don't know why we don't do this every February. Oh man. I'm gonna sneak through there because I don't know how to reclose it. 
if I open it. Loop it. If I open the rest. Oh, it's got wire. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Hey. Well, I'm on my own. What's new? Ow. Ow. Sharp. Got me. Let's do this. So we're at mile 24, the Gloriana aid station. Uh, later tomorrow, this is gonna be filled up with people and runners. And poopers. And poopers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go get a fresh squeeze in there. They look good, they look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna go, the first three should we christen good. it? <laughs> no. Oh. Started thinking we were gonna need a vest and pants. <laughs> then we decided we'll go out in shorts and a t-shirt. 8K in. Shirts off, it's hot out. After a run, we met Catherine at racer check-in and drove out to find the aid stations so we'd know where to go on race day. What are you yeah. doing here tomorrow? Me? I'm gonna be going fast. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm gonna be racing. Cue the Disney princess time. I'm gonna go friends with the animals or get hurt really badly. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the door open. Okay. <laughs> So weird because like it's gonna be so hot. Yeah. Uh, it will. Two hours you'll be like, yet. oh my god, yeah. I'm dying. You're like, we're gonna go from here back to camp. Oh, okay, and then cool. we're just gonna be at camp. Um, we're gonna like make our breakfast, and and then once you come through there, we'll just head to uh, margaritas Rock City. made. Yeah. Oh Party my boy. gosh. Just kidding. Just kidding. We have nothing for margaritas. <laughs> what? I bought margarita mixes. No, you didn't. <laughs> Tequila to poppers. To the you don't like playing up in the movies. Unless I'm getting paid. You are getting like, paid in love and... So I'm getting dollar dollar bills to have that light in my face and to turn <laughs> the acting on. You're getting the real me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time Jenny's ever fingered anybody in her life. That's not true. I fingered you yesterday on the run. Okay. Yeah. 
bottle. Orange bottle. <laughs> How you doing? Where'd it go? Crashing? No, I feel good. Yeah, you're in a good spot. You wait, cuz. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Oh, you have it. It is electric out here right now. Absolutely electric. This morning, it was cold. I think everyone, you know, the nerves are going. People are a little, a little antsy to get going. Didn't seem as extreme. But now that we're out here at the Bumblebee 8 station, it is pretty intense. People coming through, grab and go, grab and go. No one's even stopping. They're just ripping through the 8 station. Still pretty early on. Uh, so we'll see how it plays out later. But this is a fun race. It's going to be really fun to see it the next few hours. How's that? Fast. <laughs> that was extreme. We got some work to do on uh, our handoffs. We? Yeah. We. For Catherine. You. <laughs> You're a crew chief. <laughs> I like, I'm, I need I'm just the photographer How do you do this, this time. I just, I just want to run away. Just let me go. So, Tag in. Swap me out. You gotta get the <laughs> tripod set up. You gotta get. You figure, figure out how to get three hands instead of two. I know. I gotta grow some limbs for crewing. Jeez. Prime for racing. I don't know how to do this side. <laughs> no, that was good. She got gels and she came in with Claire and left before her. So I think she'll just be happy with that transition. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Nice. She's like obviously dialed in. Yeah, she's, she needed nothing. she's looking good out there. <laughs> like you're doing good. Am I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is when you go like this and say, see you at the next aid station. <laughs> see you at the next aid station. I'm not doing it here. I'm not.
So we've officially entered the pain cave. Catherine came in, said her knee was bothering her. Calorie deficient, threw up a couple times, wasn't really keeping stuff down. Uh, Jenny got her through it. Nice coach work, Jenny. And gave her some food, got her some peanut butter jelly sandwiches, which took some time, um, which at a certain point in the race, yeah, you might need to take some time. So what? It's a long distance race. And at the end of the day, you're here to finish the race. Whether you finish it first or last, you're here to run a race for yourself. That's kind of the point of most of these races. Sure, there's people, elites, you wanna win. It's always nice to win. But for the most part, you're out here running your own race. What'd you do, you got a couple sandwiches in here? Yeah, I think three peanut butter jam sandwiches. <laughs> just locale decisions, right? She like, seemed good once she was out. Like, always just seemed well, rough coming in. She but came in and when, you, like, I think, signs or like when she's like oh I'm chafing but I and I have my anti chafe but I'm not fixing it okay you need to eat mm. like when you're no not longer, dealing with problems yeah and like simple ones and in, in, from our standpoint of like you have anti chafe on you put on the anti chafe she's like okay <laughs> like it's a hot okay like it's a hot day and she hasn't ate and she threw up like she just needed that time to sit and eat nice. and then go yep she's looking good I, yeah I hope she that food stays down yeah and she can kind of climb out of that now maybe even pass somebody like just get that like energy back up because i think she's thinking a lot about who's ahead of her but not forgetting there's a lot of people behind her or not like remembering that mm. kevin's gonna come through here she has 20k to the finish and i'm gonna go for a little jog with her and i'm gonna snack <laughs> yeah, what's happened since we last saw you? Oh geez, have you kept food down? I think just stop, just like hang out for a second like we did at the last one. If you, like if you can eat there and keep it in, like just just sit, let yourself cool down. Yeah. Problem get back to the spot where you can kind of problem solve. I think the one thing to, that's really hard to see is you're in like pretty much the same spot in the field as the last one when you came through. Like and actually the women that were ahead of you are like just coming through here now. Like they are not blazing. Um, you are not yeah, being left behind in any way. <laughs> get ice there for like cool yourself down so that you're actually taken care of. And then eat and then call me back. Okay, bye. So she's still terrible. Now. Yeah. You've given it your try and then your try again. So it's okay. What's the deal? She's dropping. It can't be right though. I mean, it probably is. It looks pretty good, what it does. I just don't think she said it's the right, like, link. Oh, okay. chunky on the road gets a little vertical oh no I just gotta like get over that oh, it's just a hump just need more speed just gotta throttle a little bit oh yeah like that, no problem I'm gonna just hop out for a sec I wanna hop out five minutes ago <laughs> yeah I'm gonna run to the top you you're sweating? on your own <laughs> yeah I'm sweating just I want you to look and see how low we are see you at the top I got my water oh. I just don't want to get. I don't want to get smashed on the bottom and wreck our water tank. I need my chapstick because it might be a little bit longer than you expect. We got like two miles. I got 1.1. Okay, how deep are we? I don't really know what you want me to look at. Well, just like, is it low? Like, does it look like I'm gonna hit? Maybe. Like, does it look like the belly's gonna hit if I keep going? No. 
Oh, okay. Does it look good? Oh, we're f we're golden. We're gonna chase her down. We got this. Woo! Only question is how much sketchier does it get coming up? I just want an excuse to get out and run. Here. Is this the end of the road? I think you should wait here. This is where it gets super Well, look tough. at it. I mean, that was already pretty hairy for like. I a, don't know how you're gonna turn around. Van. I think you should go back there we and we turn will. Around come back there. They turn around. I'll get Catherine and we'll come meet you. You gotta go. Do you gotta go like down there? I think so. Because I'm still half a mile away, which means I'm like 800 meters away. <sighs> so. Doozy. Um. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. And I think her and I are gonna have to walk our butts up here. Yeah, I think so. So if you go back there. Yeah, that looks a little off too sketch for me. Yeah. In this thing. I'm glad to hear you say that. Don't go off the cliff. I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> okay, so we made it this far with the van. A little rocky, whatever, nothing crazy. Um, good clearance, good clearance. I don't think I have enough clearance for this though. Camera probably doesn't do any justice, but it's a little chunky. Jenny's got about 800 meters to go. She's gonna go pick up Catherine at the aid station where she's dropping. She's done, she's not feeling good. Her stomach's not cooperating. She's done so good. Jenny got her out of the last aid station we saw her at. Gave her some food, got some calories in her. Didn't work out. It all, it all comes down to if you can keep food in. Can't keep food in, it's really tough to keep going. Food being calories. So Jenny's gonna go get her and they're gonna come back up. We'll see if I can find them with the drone. We'll hunt them down. Think we're in the right spot. No. Oh. Uh, it's a good move, but it's not cotton with bench. Okay. It is a dead end, and Catherine is not here. Okay, down the trail, and then to the Black Canyon Trail, but it's not on the race course, so there's no flags or anything. That was Jenny on the phone. She was calling to say she's gone the, the distance she thought she should, and it just turned into a dead end. Um, apparently, some white Jeep that passed her. I haven't seen it yet. We don't know where we're going right now. We'll get back to you. This is what adventure is all about. Getting out there, doing some crazy <laughs> that you didn't think you'd end up doing today. Started off just being a crazy race. Now it's some crazy <laughs> off-road adventure. Go pick up our friend. Oh, I love it. It's always more fun. Even a bad day out here is better than a good day in the office, isn't it? Okay, so we are here. We have to get there, which looks easy until you zoom in. Oh. And they all end. So I went uh, over to the spot we're trying to get to. Oops, way too far. I mean, okay. the fact that she said, Oh, they're there. coming in a van, and they said, Oh, really? That kind of makes it questionable. Oh. Dang. So then, if we try and go oh. the other way, yeah. And yeah, these guys go around. And we try and go this way. Yeah. And so I don't think we can get there. Okay. I mean, maybe if we had one of those sick razors. Oh, here. Not sitting where we're supposed to be sitting. It's crazy. Love being in a new place, new adventure. Hot and sweaty. She's like, you're close. You feel like you're close. I was like, we are. Like we're a mile away. It's just a away. giant just a fucking... mountain and a gully in the way. Yeah. This is no longer a trail race story. <laughs> <laughs> the race is too easy. Yeah. Just follow the flags. <laughs> Where we go, there is no road. Oh. You searched her pin. What did it show you for a route? Did it give you a direction? Three and a half hours. That was the around. Yeah. Okay. It didn't, I, it didn't give you a back road here. Zero alternative uh, okay. options. Okay.
something that I'm gonna go down to by foot, and then we'll meet you there. Okay. How like how long is that gonna take? Do you think? Uh, ten, ten, fifteen minutes. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just send you that spot and make sure it's the same, and then we'll head that way. Okay. Yay! All right. Thank All right. You. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> the adventure I, continues. How do I get a pin to like this? Uh, I think this is the least stressed I've been this entire trip. Going off roading, trying to find our lost friend in the of the somewhere find our in friend. the mountains. I ate too much guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's doing it? No, I told me fine. Guacamole sweats. Probably the garlic sweats. Uh, this is where we need the taco. Our taco. The taco. Tacoma. A Tacoma, not a taco. Yeah, get some tires, get the thing jacked up. And then we'll come down here and crush some trails. With the truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we can't do it with our legs, then we'll do it with our truck. Or one of these things. What's up? Oh, she has to walk the hill now. David said he's so incredibly proud of you for being so vulnerable and sticking it out as far as you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Kiki and I was going to rally, but you, I think that was your rally, though. That's yeah. probably the problem. It wasn't your, like, it just wasn't the day. Totally. And then when you rallied, it was like, just wiping everything we had, like, yep. left out. I felt yeah. fine, like, after those sandwiches, so oh, you obviously were right, like, it was fuel. But then I got to, like, Maybe two miles in there? Yeah, I don't know. Four. Oh my god. Like, I, then I started throwing up really hard. <laughs> I was that just like, was yeah. Probably, like, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> but I did. This is a puke and puke, not a puke and rally. <laughs> Seemed dumb to turn around, but I was like, no, we gotta pack up and get out of here because if she comes back, we can't be here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Know we're not here. <laughs> oh my gosh. After we got Catherine, we drove to the finish line to catch the sunset and watch the finishers run in. Margaritas, tequila. For days on end or 24 hours. <laughs> we earned it. Bye bye. You earned it. Have a great day, everyone.